So first and foremost, to maximize the performance of your new Ryzen setup, you want to make sure you take advantage of a built-in feature called Dual Channel. Now for Dual Channel to work, each RAM module needs to be populated in the right RAM slot. Now for a dual kit setup, you want to populate the second and the fourth RAM slot on your motherboard. Next thing you want to do to optimize your new Ryzen system is to head over to AMD's drivers and support page and download the chipset driver. The driver includes a power plan for Windows that fixes lots of issues and adds new features that you definitely don't want to skip over. I have a link down below that takes you to the page in question. If you aren't 100% sure what exact chipset you have, you can simply just use the auto detect tool. If you find this video valuable, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and build tutorials. Stick around till the end of the video, I'll be sharing a bonus tip to make your Ryzen CPU fully optimized for gaming. Now, if you happen to have a 70 Ryzen, you'll be pretty surprised to hear that you actually have an IGP or a built-in graphics inside your CPU. And this can be a lifesaver in case your graphics card temporarily breaks and you still need to access your PC. Now, to get the latest driver for this, you need to head on over to AMD Drivers and Support page and select Processors with Graphics, followed by Ryzen Processors, and then select the processor you have. Again, if you aren't 100% sure which model you have, simply use the auto detect tool. Now, once we finish with that, you want to make sure you also have the latest and most stable BIOS installed for your motherboard. And you simply download this from your motherboard vendor site. Head over to the download and support page and scroll down to BIOS and download the latest stable version. The fastest and probably easiest way to install this is to put it on a USB stick. Then reboot into the UEFI by simply holding down the shift key while restarting Windows. And then look for BIOS update tool and follow the instructions on screen. Now before we jump out of the UEFI, there is one more thing we still need to do. To fully take advantage of your RAM clock speed, you want to activate the so-called Expo profile, which we usually find under the OC section or under the overclocking section. Save the settings and reboot into Windows. As for my bonus tip guys, if you are a bit tech savvy and you like to gain a little bit of extra performance and you also happen to have an AMD Radeon based GPU, you can activate something called Resizable Bar, which essentially makes the entirety of the graphics frame buffer accessible to the CPU at once. And this can give you more frames per second and here's Hardware Unboxed actually testing out this feature. AMD also have the option to either overclock their CPUs using an algorithmic tool called PPO Overdrive, or if you rather have your system run cool and quiet, you can activate something called Echo Mode, and both options are once again available in your UEFI BIOS. This is well worth taking a look at if you like to really maximize your new Ryzen CPU. Make sure to watch these videos next and if you find this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe for more gaming PC builds and tutorials.